Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back. So I had a request to put together a video on multi-monitor configuration and how we set it up. So I just wanted to show you all the resources <coughs> that I use to get my game set up the way I want it. So one of the first things I found that was incredibly helpful was the community at the RO Extended Project. Um, they built this really cool map. I haven't got a chance to actually check it out. It's called The City. Um, we can take a look real quick. So it's a one-to-one -one map for ETS2. You guys can check it out. I'll leave links in the description. But I believe it's kind of a small one-to-one -one city and you can do in-town deliveries and it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I, lo I, lo I really like the idea. But we are here for this section, tweaking and enhancing the game, make your game better. This gives a lot of really awesome forum posts and all kinds of really cool stuff to help you get your game set up. But up here, well, this ATS ETS2 screen config for single, dual, triple, and quad screen setups. This is going to be our little treasure trove of really cool um, multi-mod config files that were that are already pre-canned and set up for us. <clears throat> so, notice here there's a lot of ready-to-use ones. This is the section that I frequent often. Um, this gives you all kinds of different variations and setup from your single, dual, triple, quads, and then even very customized setups. So if you've got monitors that are different sizes and resolutions and all that kind of stuff, you can still get it set up and looking really good. So I have heavily utilized this forum to help me get my monitor set up. I use that along with <coughs> SES's provided documentation on their multi-monitor support and setup. This is a really cool guide that breaks down uh, the predefined modes. It also you know, shows you what you can do with each of the C-bars. Um, I personally use the customize mode, also known as Multimon Mode 4. This allows you to really tweak it in or um, tweak it and get it set up exactly how you want it. And this breaks down all the different commands and what they do and um, different ways you can kind of troubleshoot your setup. Um, this was also really, really helpful. A uh, fellow who goes by the name of Elite Cookie on a large majority of the forums and communities out there in regards to truck simulation, he had built this really cool calculator that you can use. So <clears throat> between all of these resources here, um, it gave me everything I needed to be able to set this up. But I found that honestly at the end of the day, I didn't really have to do a whole lot more past downloading one of these files. So this is the 22.5 degree version of the reduced left-right monitor angles pre-canned file. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> um, f honestly, if you dump this in and you have three monitors set up in front of you with a, you know, not too aggressive angle, off rip this will look pretty good. Um, you probably won't have to change all that much. Um, for me, sometimes I find that I want a little more or less uh, vertical FOV, um, or I want to make a little change here and there, so I'll slightly adjust these values. Another thing that I found too is if you take one of the pre-made files from RO Extended and you run this calculator, you can slightly adjust the values and it should it should get it really good. Um, but like I said, even the default ones are pretty good. Um, I've found that um, with NVIDIA, and so I don't have an NVIDIA card, but I know that a lot of these were built um, revolving around the MPI settings to allow for better AA. From what I understand in <clears throat> the latest version of ATS and ETS2, I think that there's problems with MPI, but I haven't really been following that. I, I run AMD, so I don't really worry about that too much. But yeah, between all of these resources that I've listed here, um, I'll also provide a copy of the current Multimon config file that I'm using for my setup but this should definitely get you right where you need to be. 
Um, if you guys want to see me actually go through the full setup of getting this all put together, I can do that. I'm going to be building a second rig up just for testing purposes here pretty soon. But hopefully this gives you guys all the information you need. Like I said, um, this, this is just awesome resources. These four links here will give you everything that you need. Also, um, <clears throat> huge shout out to Elite Cookie. This fellow is everywhere in regards to the truck simulator community. He's always being helpful, always providing great information, and has really helped me a lot. Um, that person, you know, I haven't really spoken to him. Uh, just seeing his posts and stuff has just been really awesome. Almost every question I've ever had has been, <laughs> I feel like, has been answered by him. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. But if not, I hope everybody has a good one, and as always, happy trucking.